fine, because no one's actually going to follow up on that. Yeah, that makes it kind of rough. Uh, so yeah, uh, Golden Goat's going to have to... The Hyperfocus going to have to back off for the moment. Oh, here they come. Trying to hold that corner. They're trying to play the, the edge there so they don't take too much damage in the meantime. We do have a rally out from Grizzly. Oh, they're throwing oh. an ult. Solo grab goes out for Toasty, I guess. Hey, you know what? If you can get a single person with the ult, you can win a fight. True. That looks like the ults are coming into favor for Hyper Focus, so we'll see if they're able to throw out more ults than uh, go, go, go to Gold. I think it's Golden Goats. Uh, I'm reading uh, that incorrectly. Oh, there we go. There's a grab. Comes out. The Shatter comes out. Shatter hits yeah. two. Trans comes out from Goated. Yeah, it's a massive counter oh, shatter, but that trance is going to keep them all alive. Yeah. A massive anti nade was also thrown by Piso. Yeah, and that's exactly the power of playing the Ana over the Zen there. You're going to be able to throw those anti nades and then the enemy team just run over them. Yeah. Anti nade is a great counter to trance as it stops completely all the healing from it, so any team that's like, I'm going to pop trance to survive this, it's just dead. Yeah. Uh, for those listening, uh, Trance is going to be about, I think it's 150 or 200 health a second. So it makes it basically impossible to kill anybody in it. Uh, so if you can block that healing, yeah, the ult is negated. <laughs> we see the speed of the cart there. Yeah, the cart goes zooming. Yeah, so basically if you're not already there to stop the stop the cart Ooh, during the Zen fight... Zen gets picked early. Bomb gets oh. out, hits Poofa! Yep. Oh, there goes down. Yeah, just... Go Gold are just getting knocked down one by one out here. Yeah, it's, it seems like Hyperfocus is kind of cycling their ults just a little bit better than Golden Goats. So they're able to kind of use one or two in a fight, get another one for the next fight, and keep burning. Yeah. And here comes the cart, as fast <laughs> as lightning. Cart goes zooming. Let's see how many C9s we see. Oh, bomb gets thrown out by... Who threw... And that's a massive oh, bomb. Oh, there we go. Okay. So they should be able to get the hold here. There it is. All right. Yep. Hyperfocus is going to go ahead and reset by jumping off the edge of the map there. Cart is finally stopped for once. Yeah, but look at the, the ults for, for Golden Goats. They only have Shatter and maybe Trance soon. Yeah. And that's compared to Hyperfocus, who also has the Shatter, but also has the Nano and almost the Bomb going online. That that Bomb-Shatter combo is going to be massive if they can get it off in time. Oh, I got the heat. Oh, Golden they... Goats goes for the shatter, but unfortunately gets stunned out of it. Yeah, so he actually, he threw out his shatter, but Pongo's shatter actually hit first. So it cost the Dragon D's, which, I mean, I'm not going to explain that joke any further. Uh, yeah. Actually negated his ult and made him cost his ult. That's unfortunate. Yep, so Hyper Focus will finish with 438 on the clock, actually gaining time, which don't, don't be shocked if that happens a lot during NASCAR Goats. You're going to finish the the, uh, the objective very quickly here. Yeah. All right. Especially we're... on hybrid maps, once you cap that first point, the card's just zooming. Oh, absolutely. It's basically, like, I think it's five to six seconds between each point. And yeah. you're, if a team dies, basically, you get one fight if you're defending between each point. So if you lose that fight, boom, there goes the next point. Yeah. And if you have some stragglers left from first point, you're probably not even going to be able to defend second. That's very true. You might you, just you... need to give up both points. Yeah, that's actually why we saw Hyperfocus throw themselves off the map earlier, because they did not want to get staggered out and cost themselves another fight. Absolutely. All right, we'll see some changes coming up. Um, they're switching to the Moira. Golden Goats is going to go Moira. That's a very interesting choice. Interesting choice, yeah. While Moira does provide more healing in, than a Zen or an Ana, she does not provide any utility for the team. So that's going to be a weird choice coming out from Golden. Oh, okay. They switch, they switch back. They switch back to, to Ana. Uh, all right. All right. So they're going with... Okay. So they're actually mirroring their comp. Baiting the casters. <laughs> of course. Naturally. It's, it's a tradition. Mm. All right, let's see how this pans out. All right, Poofa is almost dead already. Okay. anti nade gets thrown. Yeah, there's a huge anti. Oh, we're still even though. Still even. This Pongo does get charged by Dragon, asserting yeah. Rhine dominance. Yeah, Golden Goats was able to restabilize, and now they're gonna push in. Hammers is. Pretty split from his team. He's one v one in Azaria. Yep. His team is coming to save him, though. Yep. And now they're all—they're both at six again. 
Yeah. Here's the Nate thing comes about, out, it's cleansed instantly. Here's the thing about goats, is it's all about sustain, so with, there's some ults. Without ults, it's hard to turn a fight. Basically, both teams are going to live forever getting a thousand damage in a second, but they're also going to heal a thousand a second. Oh, and they get the baby diva stagger. He's probably, Flop is probably going to switch and then come back onto diva. Yeah. It's a little trick. However, you do lose your ult charge if you do that. Yeah, although I I wasn't sure how much ult charge he had before he swapped. So, ooh. There comes an Big out. name comes out. Yeah, Toasty Toast comes out with a, ooh, there it is. So Toasty Toast grabbed and then they threw out an anti nade, which basically, you're done. They're dead. Unless uh, Zarya cleanses it. True. But she can only cleanse one person other than herself. So two yeah. cleanses, you get a, you kill four of them, you're still going to win a fight. Yeah. Oh, we have the, the rally oh, from Grizzly. Rally. Oh. oh, two raid bosses are going at it. Oh, and Burns eight the grab from uh, from Snitch. All right, we're at one each. Shatter comes out from both sides. And uh, Golden Goat's going to go a little more aggro on it. We'll see if they're able to support the Reinhardt. Oh. That was a bomb gets up from Burns, but that didn't go anywhere. Yeah, that was not a very great bomb. Bomb to get anything else. Bomb does go. hit Brig. There you go. You get, we get one with your ult. Hopefully, this does secure the point for. We'll Goated. see. There's five of them up there. Actually, there's six of them up there, and he mm, comes up. That's a very long, drawn-out fight, and then there's an oh. That's a second rally. It's true. Well, then again, it ooh, that's a six-man shatter. That's huge. Six-man shatter. And no one and dies. Comes out. They I got, think this fight just shows the absolute sustaining power of Ghost right there. Yeah, they got six-man shattered, stood up, and then killed the other team. That was intense. Yeah. With Goats, there's just so much healing and so much health. Almost, they're basically invincible unless, you know, a couple ults get thrown out. And hey, here's... <laughs> I, and I, will never, I will never get over that. Uh, like, wait, are they going to be able to contest in time? Okay, they yep, do. Yep, they got, they got right there in time. But they cannot back off of it. Especially with the speed yeah. of that payload. If they get off for, for half a second, it'll go to the point. Aw, oh, Lil Snitch kills himself with the right click on accident. Yep, and there's a shatter. There's a counter shatter that doesn't seem to get anything. Uh, I think it hit the back line. Okay. Oh, and they are they are successful in pushing them away. Alright. Oh, good for them. Alright. So they still have three minutes. They're unless yep. <laughs> unless hyper focus can manage to get a perfect defense for the next three minutes in GOAT's meta, which uh, that'd be surprising. They're, NASCAR they, goats, nonetheless. That's true, NASCAR goats. They have to, they cannot lose a fight, period. Yeah. Oh, we have another... Grizzly does pop a rally to help with the armor charge up. Bomb gets thrown in and gets stuck on the roof and yeah. gets no one. Didn't actually know that was a piece of architecture. Yeah. So we have Toasty Toast with the grab. And here we go. This should be... Alright. Okay, there we go. Here Ooh, Shatter comes out from Dragon. Every, it hits like three people. Every time I'm about to say there's about to be clean up, they should prove I'm wrong. Yeah. Pongo has no health. I think he was literally at 25 health. Yeah. He's 2, two HP. HP. He was 2 HP. Damn. Wow. A light yeah. breeze would have knocked him over. So, Hyper Focus is coming up. It has beat. They have shattered. And they're coming up on Rally. Meanwhile, go did have... Uh, both grab and beat. beat. Let's see how they use these. So, we'll see if they use beat just to basically give their team more health pushing in. Shatter gets used, hits no one, and... Oh, that is a huge anti from P7. Oh, but now and gonna... oh, Dragon is way behind their his team with a huge yeah, shatter, He hits though. a shatter, though, but I'm not sure if anyone can follow up on that. Considering nope. that the rest of his team is still at the choke. Nope, and that, yep. All right, so Laura just wants to get a reset. I'm surprised yeah. they allowed them to get a reset. Yeah, I was surprised that... A solo Anna is not really gonna kill anybody on her own. Yeah, unless you're ML7. Well, I mean, true. If you're if you're top 10 player in the world, sure. Okay. All right, they're pushing back in, but their Anna is a little bit behind just due to dying later. And Poof is gonna go pick her up. Alright, we've got the Nano Rhine. Oh, a big anti though. Big anti. No one can follow up on that though. No, because Shatter comes out, gets blocked. 
Okay, they're sending in the grab bomb combo right now. All right, yeah, that'll be a, win a one fight right there. Oh, they're staggering lower a bit though. Yep, there we go. There is the stagger I was yeah, looking for earlier. There. But let's see, if, let's see if the team can get back in time to save Laura. Oh, they slept. Oh, okay. Slept. Yeah. There, that's like, gonna no. be a massive. That's gonna be a massive stagger coming out right there. That was actually a great stagger because they they killed them just before the other team got their team get back. And now yeah. it's three v six. Goaded are pretty much forced to fight a. Oh, so, C nine. Beautiful. Oh, C nine. Oh. I was ex I was expecting someone to C9 the payload. Oh, that's amazing. Because they're just pushed up way far. Oh. So, so those of you at home, a C9 is basically where you leave the objective and allow the other team just to get it for free. So in that scenario, Hyperfocus was way too focused on attacking their opponent. Hold on. Okay. Ooh, bomb comes <laughs> out, hit two. Yes. And that's going to be a win by... That's probably a one fight by Golden. They're just going to take out the stragglers. Yep. Yep, and this is all because of that C9. Like, yeah, actually, Hyperfocus was defending very well before. I didn't get it staggered to D.Va? No, oh. you can't stagger on the payload. Because they're defending it. Oh, yeah, right. right. Ooh, this is not a good look for Pongo. He's a bit Ooh, alone. It's a three-man anti-nate, though. Could they follow up on that? Oh, and then the grab. They're just not grab. coordinating their strikes very well. Yeah. Shatter comes out. It's a pretty big shatter, though. Oh, that's a bigger shatter. Oh, here we go. Here comes. Here come the kills. Here's the kills. And here comes the problem of running an Ana over other things. Is it's hard to get a lot of burst AOE healing. Yeah. Ana is very good single target healing, but in terms of burst healing, she pretty much only has her nade, which is on a set cooldown. Yeah. Which I are don't are uh are the cooldowns increased in nice car goats? Do you know? Uh, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if they are. Yeah. Alright, so, that means that Golden Goats is going to cap. They capped under a minute, but due to just how the rules of Overwatch work, they get pushed up to a minute, and that amount that get, they get pushed up gets added to the other team's time as well. Yeah. Which means now that Hyperfocus has 5 minutes and 14 seconds to do as they please, and Golden Goats has to match them and or beat them in distance in a minute. It's gonna be a hard task, but not an undoable one. Absolutely not. Uh, I mean, anyone who's played competitive Overwatch in the ladder knows that you can hold for that amount of time, especially if you want to keep your SR. Yeah. All right. So also another thing to note, while they're all in spawn, they this custom lobby only has a certain set of characters they're allowed to pick. So they can't pick anything they want, they can only pick traditional GOATS characters. The biggest thing that limits is that you're pretty much stuck to Brig, because you can't switch to either the May GOAT or the uh, very popular Somber GOATS variant. It's true. Um, and then it, kind of in the tradition of GOATS and how the composition works, you kind of have to have a Lucio. Yeah. 60 seconds remaining. So, I mean, stuck with... Basically, it gives you wiggle room in a single character, your Ana, which looks like all teams are electing to use the Ana. Yeah, I... Not surprised by that because if you position your Anna correctly, a massive anti nade is big. Exactly. Like actually, you see pseudonym right now. They're untouchable up there. Like no one's gonna go up there and get them. Yeah. Oh, but big nade does come out from Laura though. They're gonna be able, they're gonna oh. be pushing in on that. And actually, Floppa is gonna actually go up for pseudonym, making me eat my words. And then Tom Burns is gonna, is gonna go. Yep. Gonna go challenge. But now Floppa is out of position and staggerable. Oh, they're they not going to stagger. They, they pop Rally, the raid boss is active now. That was a very late Rally, though. Like, that, that most of that armor is going to go to waste. Oh, unless... Oh. Oh, there's a Lucio 1v1 happening on point right now. That's why they popped it. Oh, here we go. Pufa versus Hypnotos. Who's winning so far? It looks like... Uh, oh, it's going to look like... It's going to look like Hypnotos, because I think the rest of his team is coming in to save him. Yeah... It's very true. Okay. I kind of wanted to see how that played out. <laughs> Alright, so that means that Golden Goats was not able to cap the point. So that means Hyperfocus gets 5 minutes and 14 seconds to capture the point. Which, traditionally in Overwatch, that would be, what, 10 fights, roughly? 
Yeah. In NASCAR goats, we're looking at more than 10 fights. Yeah. That means they get more than 10 chances to win a single fight. And on top of that, I don't believe that Golden Goats even got a tick. No, they did, they did not. They did not. It's it's you see it up top it's zero percent. If they got a tick, it'd be thirty-three. Ready for battle. Which means that they get five minutes to not even cap the point, just get one tick. Yep, get one third. Thirty-three percent of the point captured. Which takes I I think in NASCAR goats it takes like three seconds. Yeah. So again, they just literally have to win the fight or if Golden Ghost just wants to stand off of it for a second or two, then uh, Hyper Focus can win there. Yeah. All right, so it actually looks like uh, Laura is gonna take the same position that Pseudonym took earlier in the top. And they're probably gonna just... run a mirror again. This is a pretty risky position though, because a D.Va could very easily just fly up there and get in your business. This is very true. As we saw from last round with Pseudonym. True, but as long as your diva also goes and peels for you, it'll be okay. They're gonna go through okay. Hotel. Interesting. And Antonate only gets their Lucio Pufa. Oh, and Diva's up the top. Oh, Ooh, Pongo that's... Spike charges Lure. All right, we're at 5v5 currently. But one's without a Ryan, one's without an Anna. What's more important, a Ryan or an Anna? Uh, probably the Ryan, because you need that shield to play around. Very true. That and that 75 damage a swing. Which could potentially be buffed up to 85 if True. the patch goes through. The oh, grab and does here come it through. comes. There's the clear. And, and <laughs> poor Lore is trying to come back and defend it. And that'll be a map for hyper focus. Yeah. So, what are some things that Golden Goats could have done better? Uh, Golden Goats probably could have maybe coordinated their ult usage a little better, as we saw with Hyperfocus, they were able to just uh, cycle their ults very efficiently, uh, and they're just able to just push forward. So uh, this, uh, of course, this uh, play of the game makes me eat my words, but uh, one thing I noticed was there were a lot of shatters. Pretty much every shatter got real estate. Every shatter got at least one or two people. However, there were a lot of shatters that no one got killed on. Yeah. Like, people got knocked to the ground, and it's a, a, what, two and a half second stun? But no one died, so it basically made the ult not have any impact. Yeah. Which... Especially when the Rhine would go behind the other Rhine and slam the backline. I feel like that happened a lot. Oh, absolutely. Like, in that scenario, which, granted, we, we should stipulate that these teams, most of the time, like, most of these teams are just kind of cobbled together, like a bunch of friends. Kind of thing, so they haven't like practiced or scrimmed or anything like that. Um, but normally, like that kind of thing happens, it would be an immediate call, like, "Hey, I'm I just shattered everyone. Converge on these people." Yeah. I hope if this match was played against two like preset teams that like have scrimmed for a while, I that definitely would have been a big difference. Oh, it would have been there would have been a massive. We would have seen a lot more coordination. Let's say that. Yeah. So it looks like we're actually gonna get a sub out. Uh, looks like who'd we get? We took out Poofa, and we put in Splooge to you. Um, for anyone at home who doesn't get that, please go ask your parents. And on top of that, he's playing with his teammate Dragon D's. I mean, if at any point you don't understand what a name means in uh, this Smilers tournament, please go talk to your parents. Um, I do not recommend you look it up online. I do, though. Well, just just for clarification. Oh, we got a pause, because Sunim appears to have dropped. Uh, probably just uh, network issues or uh, some other concern. While we get that settled, uh, both teams will probably be sticking with the Honor Goats variety again. Oh, absolutely. Um, it just it's kind of odd. Why do you think they subbed out Poofa for Splooge? Uh probably would have just been different in playstyle, like maybe one's just more aggressive than the other, who knows? Very true. Uh they're saying R okay. Um, okay. on my so stream I wasn't yeah, I wasn't seeing Sudanim back in, so I thought they were gonna play five V six, which would be a terrible idea. Absolutely. That would um we, we saw how well that went versus content. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, for anyone who, who is uninitiated, uh, he's referring to Content Creens versus The Bench for Intermediate League Zero, and it was a 5v6 just because Content Creens did not have eligible players to field um, due yeah. to violations, but we won't dig deep into that one. So it looks like, yes, we will continue with the mirror matchup. Uh, so both teams playing the exact same heroes. The uh, the thirty the forty second timer to get to positions seems kind of silly when your characters move at like one hundred fifty percent speed. Yeah. Now Rialto is a very interesting app for me in particular because there are a lot of points where a Lucio could just come off and just boop someone straight into the river. Absolutely. Uh, so you'll see it when the teams start fighting, but the actual initial part where the payload is, there is a bridge with water on each side, which you can just push someone off and instantly kill them. So we'll see if any of that fun stuff happens. Do we have any Lucios? Oh, no, they're not even going to bother fighting on that part of the bridge. Damn, yeah. Because the payload moves so fast, they can just push it straight forward. Antinay comes up from lore, hits three people. Yeah, that was massive, but there's no follow-up on it. Yeah. Oh, just kidding. Fact, there's, there's a little bit of follow-up. In fact, Hyperfocus, they're down a brig now. So they're playing a 5v6. They're forced to just get away. Yeah. This is definitely a loss. This is definitely a loss fight for them. Yeah, the brig the brig sustain is just way too good. Plus, brig can literally hit all people with 35 damage a swing. Uh, lore? Um, that's a lost fight. This, I mean... Uh, BM? Uh, not if Grizzly snipes Itositos off the bridge. How does how did that happen? I'm gonna need a replay on that. Yeah, this will be a lost fight yeah. immediately. Yeah. No, no, no. They're yeah. Still... I'm, I'm shocked that they're still getting. Oh, there we go. There's a block shatter. Yeah. Thank you. Diana is back, providing way more heals than just a Lucio. Grav gets eaten by Burns. Wow. Oh, we already oh, have goes... have a Nano. Oh, there. See, that's that's exactly like what happens. The so Golden Goats literally stepped away from the cart for whatever reason, the positioning, whatever, and that just gave Hyperfocus the chance to basically get a free fight win all the way to the point. Oh, and here we go, NASCAR Goats, and zoom <laughs> goes the cart. Oh, and yep. Let's see if there's a follow up. That's a big anti. Yeah, that, that grab anti is literally a free fight win. You just get to commit one ult and you win. Yeah. And they're going to continue to move it, and they have six minutes left on the clock. Wait. Is anyone going to be able to get that? Okay, yeah, they're all going to get contest. Nope. Wait, maybe not. No, my goodness gracious. Dude, Splooge came in the last second. Shatter comes down from Pongo. Hits a lot of people. They're just finish up the Scragglers at this point. Yeah. That, that, that recontest kind of self-staggering just to make the payload stop really doesn't pay off in Goats where... If you, there's six people pounding you, not much you can do about it. Yeah. So that means Hyperfocus will finish with 546. Which we've seen this before. Yeah, we've seen that before. That was King's Row time. That was actually King's Row time with added time. So now we'll actually flip and Golden Goats will get their chance to attack. Um, hopefully, Lore does not throw himself into the river again. I still don't like. Do you do you know what happened there? Like why he fell? Uh, BM purposes. That's a very that's a good reason. That's probably the best reason to be honest. Psychological damage. Of course, of course. I'm sure it it uh um it did some it did, it did something I guess. Okay, yeah. Both teams be coming out on the honor goats once again. Naturally. All right. Well, I want to see if uh, Hypnotoss is going to try to get a boop off of the bridge. It does not appear. Well, he has plenty of time, but it doesn't look like he's going to try and position himself. Uh, typically, Lusa will kind of hide up in a high position and then drop. Yeah. Only problem here is once someone touches a cart, the cart can just instantly go over the bridge and Lucio will miss his chance. Very true. And with players moving extra fast, the timing is even harder to pull off. Well, if someone does it, I'd be very impressed, but nope. Hypnotize is not up for it. No. He's 
Pseudonym is on a high ground again, trying to hit the same nade as King's Row, but he gets pushed off instantly. Yep, and, but he's allowed to just walk back with his team, which is great for him. Now he's protected. Yeah. Yeah, that's the positive thing about playing Anna in GOATS is you're in the back line. You're basically protected at all times. Oh, we got we to gotta Rhine down. Rhine down, and that probably means the rest of the team goes as well. Once that Reinhardt goes down, you have no shield to play around, and you're just easy pickings. I'm... A little bit confused because it seems like the Rhine went down, but but Floppa didn't under know that happened, so they were still going. Oh, that's a big pick. Ooh. That's uh, asserting dominance, which we'll call it. AKA the main tank difference. The famous MTD. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of that in chat so far. I'm sure we'll see more of it. And because of them pushing up so far, they're just gonna. <laughs> Push the cart. Uh, Stitch, Stitch got an ambitious grab out that caught nobody. Oh, and Spooge got a nice boop on Hypnotoss, but it may not matter. It, oh. it might not matter in terms of the team fight, but it he did his but he did assert his Lucio dominance, which is what we call the main support diff. Absolutely. It, if there's anything that proves that you are doing your best for the team, it's booping the other Lucio off. Uh, you know, demonstrating your dominance that you are the better frog. Alright, we're recontesting once again. We have a nice rally out. Rally comes out, they're just gonna press a W. They are, yep, they are literally just pressing W, and uh, it looks that's, like hyper focus. That's, that's kind of just the soul of goats. That's a big shatter coming out from Pongo, mm. and the follow up is instant on that. Yep, they got a free kill on their Rhine, and it should be. If all things go well, a nice cleanup. Hopefully they don't see 9 to point. Floppa is really hoping that they step off of it for a second. Yeah, Floppa having to, having to reset. So, for the record, this means that Hyperfocus has full held for, I believe, two and a half minutes. Yeah. While the cart was pretty much almost at the end. Yeah. Which normally, again, ooh. Nano Rhine comes out. Shatter hits two. The Shatter hit the Nano Rhine. He, comes, he the, comes out from Hyper Focus. They have so much sustain now. They oh. can just push forward. I don't know if you you saw that, but, but Pungo literally turned around as if he was walking away and then reverse shattered. It was beautiful. Uh, if you were a dragon, how would you feel about that? Oh, an auto one one is happening right now. I like, mean, it, oh. Not very even, though. Bomb comes out. I'd be surprised if anyone gets picked by that. Burns actually gets demeched by that. Yeah, and Floppa is just gonna sit in the back and <laughs> and talk and chat. I think in Floppa's head, he's thinking off tank difference. Of course, he he got the diva. He did his job. Yeah. Oh, and here comes the actual fight. But we only have one ult online. Oh, we actually have none. That was a, a remake. Which pop grabbing a close Shatter comes second. Out, hits no one. There's another, there's a grab. We have one, okay, there's some cleanup. Here we go. Here we go. And after around three minutes, Golden Goats finally caps A. Yeah, in that scenario, actually, Burns had tried to dive in the back and get lore, uh, but it seems like the damage up front was way too intense, so we really couldn't get as much value to uh, to prevent the and front line world. go boom, up, oh, Ames. Oh. oh. I those, uh, those famous Rialto uh, bad spawns. Did not yeah. serve Pongo well. Oh, and it cost them the point. For those, for those of you who don't know, Hames threw himself at the point because whenever the enemy team caps a point, their spawn location changes to further back, and the Ryan and Brig, unfortunately, were already respawned by the time they capped a point. Yeah, and you can't... At that point, you're, the enemy team's already on top of you. Speaking of enemy team being on top of you, Hyper Focus is starting to roll over Golden Goats, but Goats has plenty of time to, you know, yeah. lose this fight, get back in there. So in terms of so in terms of ults, uh, Hyper Focus has beat grab and bomb. That grab bomb combo is a very deadly combo if you can set it up right. And True. meanwhile, on the side of um, Golden Goats, they're also coming up on their own grab bomb. There's a grab. Oh, they lost their brig. Yep, this should be and a one. Shatter. Yep, this should be it. Should be. Both, both deep bombs, bombs out. out. And Floppa's actually hit someone. Yeah, Floppa gets somebody with it. Looks like Pongo's alone now? Is it just Pongo versus the world? Yeah, and that should, that should be a point capture. Yeah. Oh, they have pretty much Pseudonym no one to catch. 
And we'll fall. Toasty Toast is still there. Got the Diva Mech. No, it will. It'll, it's gonna be a slow death, I feel. I don't know. They could potentially get some picks. Yeah. Pongo get the charge that's, out of spawn. Yeah, hits the break. That is massive, actually. Yeah, that was actually a pretty huge kill. However, Pongo does fall. Hyperflex might actually be able to turn this. They every time a respawn comes out, they keep getting picks. Wow. They were able to flip that. They truly had no business winning that fight. But that actually that that, uh, that pin from Pongo coming in, I believe, just kind of disrupted goats enough. To where they all turned around, they're able to just kind of slowly pick off the people of Golden Goats. Again, that's that's most likely just an issue of target focus. Okay, rally comes out. I'm just gonna let the armor build up. They're going in pretty aggressive. Oh, they got okay. Pongo and, and Dragon just uh, counterpinned each other. Shatter comes out. Dragon Shatter is way bigger, but no one can follow up on that because a grab is sent to the back line. It's a big anti. Oh, but it, at the end of the game, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter if the Ana hits the nade, it's about whether or not her team can follow up on that nade. It's true. Healing is irrelevant if they're not taking damage. Yep. Alright, so Great. this actually just means that Golden Goats has another chance, but they are coming up on a minute in time. So, soon, if they get under a minute, if they get any captured, like they get the third point, that'll add time to hyper focus. Floppa, no, that's not Floppa. Burns goes over the edge, hits a bomb. That was a. It was a very ambitious bomb. I can say that. Yeah. In in the word in the wise words of Pete, he was getting creative. He was getting creative, and they C9 the point, which happens a lot with NASCAR goats because you blink and the cart has moved 300 feet. <laughs> Oh, it looks like Pufa left the game. Uh, and uh, Fimi is upset. Alright, so, like I said before, uh, since Golden Goats captured with under a minute, they get pushed to a minute, and the extra time also gets added to Hyper Focus. Now Hyper Focus has almost six minutes in time to beat Golden Goats' distance that they get for a minute at four. Uh, I'm getting a crazy case of deja vu since this is almost the exact same scenario that uh, Golden Goats was in King's Row. Very true. Uh, also, just a reminder that this tournament is played to two victories. So if Hyperfocus gets the win here, it's over for Golden Goats. I know. I don't know about you, Baby T, but as long as as Hyperfocus plays the same way they've been playing this entire match, it might be over. I mean, I don't want to count them out just yet. There's a lot of good players on Golden Goats, but I Absolutely. mean, they, they Hyperfocus has six times the amount of time, which means they get six times the amount of attacking chances as Golden Goats does. All right, here we go. Golden Goats is going to push the cart, but in that corner is going to be where this fight occurs. Got a massive anti on three of the players of Golden Goats, but or uh, of Hyperfocus, but not gonna matter. They're just gonna, gonna push matter. up. Once again, no matter how big the nade is, it doesn't matter if no one falls up on it, and they're just gonna clean off all the stragglers from that last fight. I'm seeing a, a pattern here. Oh, and Flop is gonna try and yeah, they're gonna try and get a sneaky C9, but they actually got booped off the map. <laughs> and Floppa does not know how to interpret that. Getting hit with a whip shot is not fun, especially if you're in midair. Very true. The momentum's gonna carry. Um, all right, so this will actually be the last push for Golden Goats. And if at any point they leave the cart, it'll basically be over. Shatter Massive up, shatter. Massive. Ryan's dead. Threw out a grab. Got Floppa in it. Just four down. This should be the end of their push, which yeah. culminated in them getting 28.84 meters. Not very far. And just to assert dominance, Toasty Toast and Floppa send themselves over the edge. Naturally. Uh, just, you know, more more sportsmanship type activities. Uh, so, uh, you can't see it on the field currently, uh, but 
the position of the cart that they maximum got to was just around that first corner. Uh, so uh, Hyper Focus will just have to get to that point to win the game, uh, which is only, as we've seen with NASCAR goats, being away from the cart for a solid three seconds. Oh, not even around the corner. Just to the edge of the corner. So one thing that I've, I've been noticing that is partly with Golden Goats' problem is Laura will get... Actually, they've changed up their, their who's playing what character. Um, yeah, we actually oh. have... Well, I, we have Floppa on, on Rhine now. We have Grizzly on Anna, Laura on D.Va, Dragon Dragon's on Aria. Yeah, the only the only people the only person that's consistent is uh, Splooge. Splooge is still on Lucio. Splooge and Snitch. Yeah, so, I mean they're they're the only ones that have stayed. So we'll see if this, this is the the way they win. Yes. They're holding close because they have to. They pretty much have to. They pretty much have to hold in spawn. Floppa goes for the Chad pin, but gets absolutely no one. Yeah, I mean it was again. He's being creative. Sometimes creative. creativity does not pay off. Most of the times, create so, when someone gets creative, it's not a good thing. It's very true. Because yeah. no one here is Bob Ross. And that'll be it. And then Splooge will just try to dance on the cart. And it ain't going to matter. might try and get a boop or two, but it doesn't matter. Nope, that will be it. Hyper Focus will win their semi-final game.